good day everyone and welcome to Chatelaine Makes. I'm Lorraine. So this is going to be a short video but I'll also keep, be on the lookout. I will put a, do a video of my recent makes while I was off recovering from my surgery two weeks ago. So I have um, a Amazon and a Timu. Um, the Timu, I'm just going to show you one because um, the other one is a make and the other thing I ordered was a um, chair cushion. Okay, where it's got the big the back and then the seat. I bought that for when I go do markets because the chairs that they provide are not very comfortable. Anyway, so I what I did was I ordered a custom made table runner for when I do markets. So I ordered the medium size. Now this was under thirty dollars. Okay, and I used my uh, business card um, image as um, for my my banners or my little table runners. So. I'm going to show you it. Um, I can't. It won't get it all in one screenshot. So let me start at this end. Okay. So now I have you on my lap, so it's not big enough. Okay. So it's going to show up. The writing is going to be backwards, of course. So hopefully you can see this. So hopefully, I will also post a picture of it on my community tab. Just like 72 inches long. And I think it's 30 inches across. They did a really good job. And it this is fabric, okay? It's not plastic. So it's fabric. So i got to iron that before I my next market. And uh, which is next month, excuse me, gotta reposition myself. Okay, all right, now this other thing. I'm just going to take this out for a second. This is a crochet kit. I think it was $23. Okay. So, up here it says for beginners. Okay. This is the balloon animal um, crochet kit. You get it uh, to make a fish, a frog, an octopus, and a chicken. Okay, so I did the chicken. I will show you the chicken. Upside down, of course. So here's my chicken. Okay, little feet here. These are the wings. Now, I'll tell you about the wings in a minute. So it is one of those ones when you squish, the nose grows. Okay, so what you get is, this is the pattern book. These are the thingies, okay? You're supposed to get four because you get enough to make um, one, four animals, one of each. I got five, which I'm not complaining about. So I take those out of the box. I got a measuring tape. There's nothing to measure, but I'm not complaining. So I've got a measuring tape. Comes with the yarn. This is fairly soft cotton. Now you just get... Now the yellow, of course, I've used quite a bit of the yellow and some of the orange. The yellow is about this size. Okay. Stitch markers. The eyes. 
which are flat on one side, which is, of course, um, because you don't want them puncturing this. Okay, a glue stick, which I didn't realize that, that you had to glue the eyes on. I don't even know if I have a glue gun. But I use some other glue for, for to put my eyes on. You get a package of uh, filler, which I never use these. Snippets. Another uh, instruction booklet uh, for the crochet stitches. And you're supposed to get one hook to go with it. This is what I got. This is a double-sided hook. It's a number four on one end and a number three on the other. I didn't use this. I used my own. So, now getting back to the fact that it says that it is beginner friendly. Let me tell you, this is n in no means beginner friendly because anyone who is just starting out crocheting um, will have difficulty completing one of these patterns. Now, the instructions do not tell you to stuff your animal. They do not give you instructions on how to insert these. Um, I just took a guess and I put some polyfill around it. Okay. They do not tell you how to attach your feet or where, or the same with the wings. So what I did with mine is I used the pitcher to attach my wings and my feet. My feet are a little close together compared to this one, but what I did was I um, tried to get these a little further apart. Um, they're bending over, okay, because you can see they are, they are kind of spread out, but not even does not tell you how to attach the comb. Um, you skip two stitches for this part. And I used a 3.25, which was the smaller of that crochet hook of this. Okay, so I used a 3.25. Because I did try it with the 3.5, which is the other one, and I found that my stitches were too far, were they weren't close enough, so that when you put your stuffing in, you'd be able to see it, and you can probably maybe pick some out. Which we don't want that happening, especially if we're going to um, be selling these. So these will be going to my market while I do the other. I'm going to do the other three animals, and I'm not sure um, which other animal I will make. But, like I said, by no means is it beginner friendly. So, I mean, anyone who's been crocheting for years would be able to do it. Um, and if I have been doing amigurumi for, for, a, for a while... If you're fresh to amigurumi, um, you know, you may have difficulty. But, uh, so that's my little bit of makes. So, I have done some other things while I've been off. Uh, I spent three days in the hospital. Uh, so, I went out on the 26th, ha had my shirt surgery that day. Excuse me. And then I was discharged um, late on the 28th, the Wednesday. So my surgery took longer than what they expected. Uh, my situation was worse than what they thought, but my surgery went well um, despite, in spite of all that. So, like I said, I feel 90% better than I did before I had my surgery. So, um, yesterday, I, on Monday, so today is Thursday. So, on Monday, what marks my two weeks 
post-op and I could start introducing soft foods. Um, so I had mashed potatoes. For, I didn't want to rush it. Um, last night for supper I had mashed potatoes thinned out with a little bit with some um, beef broth. They were they were good, especially like two weeks with being on fluids is like, yeah. I mean, and I have the TV on in the background and what's, what are they advertising, of course? Food and more food. But um, I, not, I don't want to rush. I have my follow-up, um, my post-op appointment with my doctor on the 2nd of October, which I think is um, closer to six weeks than the four weeks, but we have to travel because we have to go from here. We have to go like three hours into this, the larger city. Um, that's where I had to go for my surgery. So I have to go three hours away and we only have one vehicle. Um, we both work, so I had to, 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 to work it out where um, we were both off. With me, there'd be no problem because I can just request that, that day off, but my husband kind of has a set schedule, so I try to book it on his regular days off. So in order to do that, um, it's the second. Could have got in on the, that's a Wednesday. Could have got in on, I couldn't get in on the Monday because um, he had surgery. So, and that was the first mo Monday, Wednesday, or Friday that I could get in. So, I am off to see my doctors on the 2nd. On the 26th, I have my market. Um, it is, I say market, it's not really a market. It is a exhibition. It is comic and anime exhibition being held here in my city. And um, I got my, I got a table. So, and we can, we can't sit up until that morning. So, um, my husband wants to come and help me set up. So he has the dates. I also have a Christmas market booked. It's my first two day market. Um, this is a big, it's a big, um, one of the bigger markets here in town. Um, there's 106 tables all together. So I got, um, a, there's eight by eight and there's 10 by 10. So I got a 10 by 10. I have an extra, ta I have a table myself, a six foot table. They provide you with a six foot table and two chairs. So I got my cushion for my chair. I'm good there. And um, I have a six foot table that I bought and I got it when it was on sale. So for future markets. So I did good there. Um, and uh, so I'm going to bring that with me. I'm also using that for um, a mock setup. Take photos and then print the photo out so I know what I want placed where. So it'll help with um, uh, setting up. It'll be a little quicker than if you have no idea and you stick stuff and then you got to rearrange it and stuff. So, so. Um, that's, that'll be um, something new for me because I usually just kind of have an idea in my mind when I go and then I start and I, and I place and then I, I um, move stuff around because, well, that doesn't look good there or I don't like that there or I need that spot for something else. And uh, so having the, the table will help. Plus, it also gives me extra um, place for to put my my makes. So, uh, I wanted this to be short. It is going on 15 minutes now. So, anyways, I'm going to sign off for this, and I will post a picture of my um, my table runner on my community tab, so you can see that, and um, you can watch for uh, my next video will be makes that I've done. Now some of these um, that I will show 
you may have already seen um, and some of them are new I only know what I made recently I know I haven't been um, had a video out for a bit so you may have seen it you may not have but I'm just going to bring some stuff in here and uh, place it on the bed because obviously this is where I do most of my recording and um, just go from there because I know like there's some stuff that I know I've made um, some stuff I've made but I'm not sure if I showed so I'll show I'll, I'll show it anyways and um, but most of it will probably be stuff that I've made in the last two or three weeks okay so that's all I have it's a cool day here it's more like a late fall day than than uh, we're still we haven't reached fall yet but um, it's cool and it rained all day it was pouring um, I went and did my first shift at work today since my surgery so it was just my usual four hour shift but um, I'm on a weight restriction and they know that so they were really good and I st have trouble um, I st still have some discomfort when I bend over or um, like so they made sure that I didn't have any have to do that so it went well considering it was my first shift and I was on my feet most of the time and like at home I haven't been on my feet been on my feet to get up to go to the bathroom or to go to the kitchen get get some drinks some refreshments and um, that pretty much it otherwise I've been sitting on my bed so did pretty good though I'm not sure when my next shift is because um, she had me off for, for um, most of the month and because it was easier her for, easier for her just to add me in than to um, have me on there and then try to fill my shifts so I'll let you all go it's Thursday hope you have a nice evening uh, this probably won't upload until later tonight or tomorrow morning um, so uh, until next time this is Lorraine Chatelaine makes saying don't forget to stop smell the coffee and the flowers. Bye for now.